So today we're going to grow some potatoes. Potatoes are ideal for the British climate or anywhere that you get a lot of rainfall and a bit of sun. It's really easy to grow and it's really fast. Plus potatoes are my favorite vegetable. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna pick a bag. So you can either go for these grow bags. These are specifically for growing any kind of root vegetables that grow down. What the good thing about these is that they have a little patch. And what you can do is you can open up the patch as time goes on. And as you can see from this one, you can see the roots and you can also see what's actually put in all the soil and how it's growing as well. But what I use, a number, I can, well, you can use a number of different things. This is what you use literally just to collect leaves in the garden. Anything that has a bit of a height, you can use. I'll show you this one where it's got a bit of a height and it's adjustable, so it's perfect. Or you can go for something really simple, like an Ikea bag. Anything that's got a bit of strength, a bit of plastic around it, and it can actually push out over time as the potatoes grow. What I'm going to use, and it's really easy to get, is these recyclable, um, massive, um, heavy-duty bags. So, got one here. Um, right, so you can get these from any um, place, any, you can, any superstore you can easily get them from. So it's really easy, I've got about 20 in this bag, and I'm going to... Um, show you this one here. So the first thing you do is put some of your compost in, crumble it as you go along. What you need to do for potatoes, because it's a root vegetable, it needs to be really soft, it needs to be loose so it can actually push through the soil and actually grow. If it's hard soil that you get from the garden, it might not be as good um, if there's any hard soil because it just won't be able to grow as easily. You can still do it, but you might just get a smaller yield and smaller potatoes. So here we're just growing some, putting some compost in. We're going to put about about seven to ten centimeters of compost in at first. There we go. All right. So let that sit. Here we go. Now we're going to put our potatoes in. So a bit more. That's it. What I've done is I've literally just put the bag down, taken one of these bags, and just rolled it down so we can actually see what we're doing. What we do is then we can take some potatoes, put these here, you can grow big potatoes or small potatoes, it doesn't matter. Just take your favorite potatoes that you eat on every day and you can just put them in. What we're gonna do is put some small ones in here because it's a smaller bag, place them, about, about say 10 centimeters apart. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put five in here. And then what we're gonna do is roll this up a bit more so we can add some more soil into it. And you're gonna cover it with the same amount of soil that we first put in to get that base. So another seven to 10 centimeters of soil. Not too much because you still wanna get the light perching through down, in, down to the bottom to the potatoes. Right, a little bit more, perfect. And the good thing about it is, as they grow, it'll push out to the sides. Right, you can, what you can do is, these are literally just in the garden, I had them earlier. This was literally just, I, was, I put in the for compost, it was little potato skins, and they literally just grew these over time, it's just grown. But what we're going to do is use whole potatoes because we want to get the good yield from these. Put these to the side. Okay. What you need to do is water it now. Put some water here. Put some water on top. This is some of the water I was just using in the garden earlier. Put some water down. What you need to do is keep it well watered and put it in a sunny place. But before that, in order to make sure that the potatoes don't rot and the soil doesn't rot, we need to put some holes in, holes in so that all the excess water can escape. So go around and poke it full of tiny little holes, not too big, to let the soil out. Perfect. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put these to the side in some sun and it will grow over time. If you can, if you have any older potatoes, ones that already have some sprouts lifting up, like these ones, you'll be ahead. It'll, be, it'll ensure that it grows a bit faster. And now we're going to show you some potatoes that we made previously. So this potato sack here, this was done about three weeks ago. Um, you can see that some of it's grown quite high, but these little tiny ones here, they've only just started to sprout up. But from the where we've located the potatoes, as I showed earlier, um, for planting them, you can see that they've kind of grown in different spaces, not too clumped up together. This was grown at the same time. These are kind of quite smaller potatoes. These are all from that you can just buy from any superstore, any supermarket, to be honest. Um, this is a different type. They're a bit smaller, so you can see these are just shorter at the moment, these, these larger leaves. And then this one, this one was grown about just under two months ago. Um, you can see that it's quite big. If I show you inside here, you can see that it's grown quite a lot at the moment. The leaves have grown quite up. It's completely covered this whole sack. This will happen with the same for these ones as well. Um, what we need to do now with this one is in order to make sure these stems are stable we need to fill up a bit more soil so the one fur that i was talking about previously is another one fur that we've got to add here so that any um, potatoes that sprout from these leaves can actually regrow as well so it's going to get um, potatoes at a higher level as well and these leaves will constantly carry on growing higher and higher and what i'm going to show you is another potato sack that we've done this is one that we did literally with an IKEA bag. So we've got an IKEA bag. That's why I tell you guys that you can use any kind of bag. Got the bag, filled it up with some soil, put the potatoes in, put another um, amount of soil on top, about seven, eight centimeters. And look, they've started to grow some potatoes already in here and here. Not many has grown here at the moment, but you can see they're starting to peak up from here. There's the one tiny one over here, but they're slowly starting to come up. So any kind of um, bags you can use and shows it just from this one. Now we're going to take our biggest potato plant here and what we're going to do is we're going to add that extra one third of compost that we said that needs to be added here to allow the stems to grow further and potatoes to sprout from the sides. What we're going to do for that is we're going to add both compost and what we've got here which we've coll collected from around the garden is just a mixture of the soil, dried leaves and twigs, tiny, tiny twigs. And this also can act as your compost as well. Um, so we're going to mix these both up and then pour it in. This will be full of good nutrients for it as well. So just find the space around it and put in as much as you can to get that one third up. It's probably around 7 to 10 centimetres that you need to put into it. And the good thing about using these dried leaves is that when you want to actually take out your potatoes, you don't have to dig through the soil. They'll be much more easily accessible. So I'm going to pour all that in. Make sure you get it in everywhere. Give it a right shake. Then, perfect. What we're going to do now is give it a bit of water. And to do that, what we've done is, you don't have to do this, but what we've done is we've taken our watering can, taken a few pieces of banana peel, thrown them in there, take about three or four, and there's already a couple in there already. So you've got to leave that for about a week, and then once you've left it for a week, um, it will start to break down and then all the potassium will go into the water and then we will to actually water the potatoes with that potassium water which will help the growth of the potatoes and you can do this for any plants but it's really good for potatoes it's a natural nutritious nutritional supplement for it here we go keep it well watered the next couple of days 
lets that soil settle in and then you'll get new sprouts pushing into that new soil that we've put in and then you'll increase your potato yield and then if it needs to be we'll bring it up a bit more and then we'll put in more soil as and when required but for now that should be enough don't bring it up too high because you want the sun to be able to still get into that lower level leaves as well that's it Once these potatoes are ready to harvest, I'll do another video and show you actually how to harvest your own potatoes. So keep an eye out in the comment section below and there will be a little link to the video.